In this video, we will implement drop zone inside Angular to upload images. So far, we have the listing of the galleries and when we click on any of the gallery, we go into the inside page. Now we will have our drop zone widget here so that we can upload images for that particular gallery. All right. Now in Angular, we will not get the drop zone object directly so we will use a directive which I have found here I will add the link in the description below so that you can refer to this it basically handles everything which is required for the drop zone data to be available inside our controllers and the models it's a directive as you can see a drop zone directive which is handling all the events and inside our controller we can create the config object and handle all the events like sending success etc okay so first step will be to definitely install drop zone and i will use bower to do that all right let's go inside public i'll say bower search drop zone okay i will use the first one so let's say Bower install drop zone save the save will add the dependency in my bower.json file so that later on I can just do bower install or bower update and all my dependencies will be installed automatically okay so the dependencies are installed if I go to my code editor you can see I have drop zone added in my dependencies the next thing is adding the dependencies source files in my master blade so let's see what is the root where the bower files are it's let's just copy first i have check remove it i have drop zone distribution for now let's not use the min.js doesn't matter i'm anyways on the local all right and the next thing is the css inside that i need basic.css and the dropzone.css okay quickly check whether we are able to load the files or not so i have this no it's wrong so what is the problem let's see we have public bower drop zone distribution dist and then i have basic.css which is correct it still doesn't count it's bower components oh okay this file is coming so does this and where is my drop zone JS all right now if you see the drop zone JS documentation this is the only thing which I require to get the form right now I can do this something like and refresh I'll get the widget but the problem is I cannot do that inside a view because that will not be rendered what I mean by that is suppose this is my gallery single and I add here right now my drop zone is not initialized so what we need to do is add the directive okay so let's get to the next part which is the directive so i'll add this inside my app.js so i will go here in the end i will create a new directive so my app dot why is the autocomplete not coming
leave it. So the directive name is drop zone and inside the function. Let's just return this entire thing, right? And if I have return config equals attributes drop zone, which is current. Should be okay now inside our controller we need drop zone config which is an object and in that let's copy paste this right so we have options inside options we have upload.php as the url which is for now incorrect but we will fix that later sending success let's just console them console.log okay and now the markup here says it's a button right but we won't do that we just need this part that is drop zone equals drop zone config so we will use this inside gallery single let's create a new row and let's just copy this and paste it here all right so as you can see drop files here it's working and if i click here this window is coming which means the drop zone which it is getting instantiated I can also drop files like this well, too many finders are open so yes obviously it will give me an error because the URL is wrong but you get the point right we have the widget which is working right now and let's quickly create the URL so that we get a success so let's say route post upload file for now it's a closure and in that we will return response 200 rather 201 okay no where is my sublime and here the URL will be this URL plus this okay Hit refresh hmm strange still taking upload.php why fresh again try once more all right now what is there token oh yes now here's a problem we don't have the csrf token anymore in my previous tutorial where I was using drop zone inside PHP I could easily get a CSRF token as a hidden field but now because this is angular my views are HTML so I can't do that right so instead what we can do is send something else as post options so we get the form data and we can append any information in it before we actually send the post request so we will append the information like the csrf token and also the gallery id here now to do that first of all i will add a variable same as base url i will say csrf token equals okay and it will print this variable in my source code and also let's just see 
how the route is behaving. It's a request all. Okay, so basically we will get everything which we are sending. And now inside the controller, we will simply say form data dot append. The hidden field name is underscore token, so that will be equal to this and I'll also pass the gallery ID which is gallery ID okay my JS file is built refresh okay and let's try and upload okay we get a success and let's just see what is coming back response inside response we have the token we have the gallery and we have the file gallery id is 6 which is correct so yeah that's about it i think inside the success if we do a console now let's refresh and try it once more strange i didn't get the response i should ideally okay i have not saved the file and it's not built okay hit refresh one more time yes and these are the data points which we are sending so we have the underscore token the gallery ID and believe me if we remove this and try it once more we will again get the error which says token mismatch exception so yeah that's about it that's how we can implement drop zone inside angular and you now get a success from the request in the next tutorial we will handle the uploading of the image first into the local file system and then into s3 bucket thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel